What's happening, Price Plow Nation? Mike Roberto here, founder of Price Plow, and today is the day you're gonna see me drink three different flavors of Steel Fits Steel Greens. Their green supplement that came out at a perfect time. But you know what, before we get any further into this, we gotta throw down a lot of disclaimers. Right now we're in the middle of this SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, and I gotta make it abundantly clear that there's gonna be no claims here made based upon any type of like specific illness or virus or even the flu or anything like that. We're gonna mention, you know, certain things may upregulate like the immune system, but that doesn't mean that these are going to, you know, treat, cure, diagnose, anything. Anything, it has to do with a specific illness. Uh, always talk to your doctor uh, before beginning any diet or supplementation program. Second, we do have a business relationship, affiliate relationship with Steel Fit. Um, they're at Steel Fit USA. We post about their stuff all the time. I did a flavor review on their pre-workout recently, and there's gonna be a lot more content coming. So price.com slash Steel Fit, where you can sign up for those alerts and everything, but need to make those disclaimers all clear because we are in the middle of a very serious situation, but very conveniently, before it all happened, Steel Fit had been talking about this for a while, and there's a lot of green supplements that have been coming out this spring. Right now is March 20th of 2020, and everyone who watches any video from me knows that I am kind of by default a lot of times on Team Steel Fit when there's a lot of things happening because I love their shredded steel fat burner so much. They got me back onto that high dose yo hembine, and I will always thank them for that. So with Steel Greens, don't let the name totally deceive you. Now we're gonna start talking about the product, and I have three different drinks, so yeah, you're gonna see me drink three of these. We'll see if I develop any superpowers. I'll post to, uh, to Instagram if uh, anything crazy happens, but uh, I've been, I've actually used all three of these flavors, really haven't pit them against each other. So we'll get into that and then we'll get into the, the ingredients. But the main thing, we have a mixed berry flavor, which I'm gonna say is probably gonna be the default flavor for most of the bros out there who uh, don't want anything a little bit more adventurous, but come on folks, Steel Fit's got a lot of women watching. I know what's going on at Steel Fit USA. They need creative flavors. Let the, let the guys who are boring have the mixed berry. Pineapple ginger, which has added ginger to it as well. Like literally ginger root extract in here. So I can make an argument right off the bat that this flavor is going to be the most beneficial because I love the benefits of ginger on top of um, all the other stuff in here, the reds and the greens and the reds. That's what we're talking about. And then watermelon mint which I believe also probably has some real deal mint flavor. Yeah, natural mint flavor in here and some natural watermelon flavor. It's all stevia sweetened, no fake stuff going on in here. So what we have, let's, let's get the mixes going. Right when you open that, you know that flavor is gonna be a little bit different. Fan of ginger. If you're not a fan of ginger, you probably are just gonna skip that on the way. And then the same goes for the watermelon mint. If you're not a fan of mint, there's mint in there. So I'll shake them all together. And then watermelon mint. Now this one, whoo! You get hit with a, the mint right away. And then the watermelon flavor system. Sm you sm I smell the air. It's like that's the one that lasts, but I kind of, I got some mint in my nose right now. I'm not a mint guy. I kind of know where I'm going to land here, but I'm also going to give Heather's opinion as the trusted digital content manager for Price Plow. Heather's opinion is very important. So let's just knock out the flavor tasting right away and then we'll talk about ingredients because this video might go a bit long. These labels get a little bit wild. Mixed berry, you can see, like it looks like it has more berries in it or it's just got less extra ingredients. Whereas the ginger is definitely more on purple. This is, this is a more clear shaker cup too. And then watermelon mint kind of looks similar to the ginger. So let's start with the standard. Smells fantastic. Mixed berry. This tastes, this is an enjoyable drink. It's, it's hilarious. Cause like back in the day, I, way back, I'm talking like 2007, 2008, I used to use like Now Foods is like Fido Foods. I think it's still out there. One of the OGs. And man, didn't taste like this. You'd add it to a smoothie, tons and tons of fruit. You couldn't, you could drink it straight, but you'd, you'd be asking for it. Oh, the times have changed. This is stevia sweet and this is delicious. I, I, I love the mixed berry. If you're basic or you don't want the craziness of ginger and and or water, uh, watermelon mint, mixed berries where, where it's at. And the reason it's so, the reason it's gonna taste better than your average like all greens product is because there, uh, there is a dose of reds in here as well. So we'll get into that in the ingredients. Now for the ginger. It 
Hear that bird? The pineapple, it's not as strong. There's the pineapple. The, pine the ginger is not as strong as actually I would almost want it to be. But it works really well with the pineapple. The pineapple is the, brings a sweetness component on top of the stevia. There's no stevia bite in any of these. You smell the ginger, but the pineapple works really well with the ginger. It's not really too much. I almost think that you could have gone like deeper on the, on the ginger scale. But like people want ginger, they go in with ginger big time. And then finally, the watermelon mint. Now this one, I'm not a mint guy. It's too much mint for me. I, 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 if you like mint and you like watermelon, you're probably gonna love this. I gotta say, as plainly as I can, it's too much mint for me. I kinda don't like it. But hey, I'm a mint hater. So, and if I do like mint, I like like the wintergreen, like really weak, weak sauce mints, not the, not the strong ones. This is this is definitely like legitimate mint. Like I don't know if it's peppermint or whatever, but it's stronger mint. Now back to these. I legit enjoy drinking mixed berry, and pineapple is not far behind. Pineapple ginger is more fun. Mixed berry is the one to kind of be your go-to. So let's talk about the label here because we have each scoop is 9.5 grams. I guess I'm gonna drink all these while I go. And what's cool is that they give you a fully, fully, fully disclosed label here. So I have five grams, first off macros, 10 calories, three grams of carbs, two from fiber. So very, very low on, on, on the calories. I would, I would argue that there might be, I don't know, there might be a little bit more calories than that. It depends on like if you put it in a bottom calorimeter, but overall they're not adding like food to this or anything like that. There's no added fats. There's not a ton of added fiber. Some people want that. There are greens products that have that. I'm kind of lower on the fiber personally, so I'm happy with this. Where I So we have, let's start off with the five gram blend. And we have a blog post talking all about this too, if you just want to read it. And cite, we have a lot of sources cited and everything. Steel Greens Organic Greens Blend, it's five grams worth. And so I'm not gonna read each one, but you have 500 milligrams of all of these. Spinach, parsley, I love parsley. My grandma lived to be 98, no claims, but she loved to cook with parsley. After that, organic kale powder. I know how y'all love the kale. And then um, we have barley grass and then the chlorella, which is gonna provide the chlorophyll. Potential, potential performance enhancer and antioxidant. So really interesting stuff with, with the, uh, the chlorophyll coming from the chlorella. And then you have uh, bell pepper powder. Huge fan of peppers, huge. Best, if you're not a big, if you're not a big like vegetable eater or you don't get a lot of fruits with vitamin C, peppers are great for vitamin C support. So I'm kind of be curious how many of the micronutrients are in here. I'm guessing there is some level of vitamin C here, but it's not on the label. So I think there's more to this than, than actually on the label. Then we have apple, banana, sweet potato powder. I don't know how y'all like that. And then uh, broccoli as well. 500 milligrams of everything. Totally open formula, I love that. Most of these greens powders are just prop lens, like inside of prop lens, it's, it's too much. It's like, you don't know if you're just getting all of one thing and then like pixie dust on everything else. This is just 10 different vegetables split straight down the middle, 500 milligrams of each. But then what's awesome about it is that they're adding in the, the reds powder. Now here's my take. I'm not a fan of fruit and uh, yeah, it, it tastes good and everything. I'm not a huge, but I'm not a huge fan of fructose. It's a fructose. I don't know why, but if I have a huge load of fructose, if I eat a whole banana, I never feel good. So I've really reduced my fruit consumption. At the same time, I do be recognize the benefits that there are uh, tons of good things inside of things like the apple peels and the antioxidants inside of the berries and everything too. I could definitely handle some berries. I like blueberries. We eat them in our house a lot. But at the same time, fruits are just, honestly, they're bags of what, they're, modern fruit is a bag of wet candy. Quote Ted Naiman, the one of my favorite doctors out there on, online. And there's too much of a sugar load from them, but there's so many good benefits to the low glycemic ones. And even to like some of the higher glycemic ones, if we can like kind of pull those antioxidants out. And that's kind of what we have here. So whereas we have um, chlorophyll with the greens that are activating these phase two enzymes that might be immune system boosters, they might be uh, performance enhancers, with the uh, with the fruits here, and I'll break down the powder, we have raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, and this is not all split down the middle. There's more raspberry, 625 milligrams, and it's a 2.5 gram blend, but all open formula. 
And then 375 milligrams of blueberry, 375 of, of strawberry, 375 milligrams of cherry powder. I love cherries. 375 milligrams of pomegranate. So many benefits of pomegranate. And then 375 of cranberry. A lot of you I know once in a while I need to you know, use some cranberry. So uh, no medical claims in this video. <laughs> and so these reds provide the anthocyanins. Like you have the chlorophyll providing the greens. Anthocyanins providing some of the... Um, some of that red type of color and what that provides is actually a little bit of uptick in the uh, nitric oxide synthase so you might get a small bit of pump extra pump extra performance extra blood flow out of this and then potentially that brings along with it um lower inflammation you have a lot of like the antioxidants are going to scavenge your free radicals so i a lot of these things that i love now in a previous video i kind of i, I kind of stated that i've been going more in like the the carnivore direction and uh and i do get all most of my calories from animal products but i've also realized though since all these greens products have come out when i take them and i'm still like being on the anti-fruit kind of train for the most part like my daughter i'll want likes an apple i'll give her an apple obviously and i eat the rest of it and everything if i load up on fruit i just feel like crap at the same time when i drink these there is i feel better I mean, at the end of this at the end of the day even if i'm eating organ meats which have tons of vitamins and, and minerals and everything and i've gone on other videos saying that that's kind of like i eat the animals that eat the fruits and vegetables at the end of the day one scoop of these i do indeed feel better so i'm kind of back on the green strain a little bit and that's it's been these recent products that have definitely kicked it up a little bit but i think for me i like the fruits because i'm not going to eat a ton of fruit i'll eat vegetables all day long i'm a big fan of like a lot of the stuff in here but i'm not gonna like binge on fruits now there is a study i'm gonna give you i'm not a fan of epidemiological studies because it's not it's not it, epidemiological studies give us a signal a little bit of information based upon population data people lie into these things and everything uh, food frequency questionnaires are terrible but there is one study that showed there's a lot of studies that show that fruit and vegetable eaters live longer now is it because of the fruit and vegetables or is it because they're not eating processed garbage yeah there's a lot of different debates but one of the studies showed that more so than the vegetable eaters, the fruit eaters are actually living even longer. And they're talking about, it kind of peaked in this study at four to five, um, at four to five fruits, uh, fruits and vegetable servings total per day, but the fruits seem to can perform a little bit better. It was based upon like hundreds of thousands of people because it was a meta-analysis from nine different studies from all over the country. I really thought it was interesting. But again, it's epidemiological. I'm not a huge fan of those types of studies, but it is, I'm gonna cite it a little bit because there's gotta be something to it. Is it because we're not eating junk when we're eating this stuff? Or is it because that there are antioxidants provided here? I don't know. So I personally think there's a, like a best of both worlds. I like to get my calories from animal foods, but I do like to get in some extra micronutrients and these provide them. <sighs> yeah, not my flavor. I keep drinking it though. That's what we do in these videos. Okay, so after that we have kiwi fruit powder. Did I miss anything? Yeah, so yeah, the rice kind of bring a little bit of that extra like blood flow factor, which I like. <laughs> And then, so we have 250 milligrams of kiwi fruit powder put into the, the greens digestive health and absorption blend. So it's not really in the fruit or the greens blend. It's like on its own. So there are some immune systems, uh, like performance, immune system enhancing research studies talking about kiwi fruit. Uh, again, no claims or anything, but the, the, uh, the main the main component of it, constituent, is actinidin. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. Is that right? But what's cool about that is it can help increase your protein absorption too. And that's what we're going to get into next is that you have, um, you have the Digizyme multi-enzyme complex. So Digizyme has amylase, protease. Amylase helps with carbohydrate absorption and, and digestion. And your, your like saliva has amylase in it. That's why you're supposed to chew your food slowly. Let your amylase kick in, amylase kick in, in, the, in the saliva. But you also have protease, which helps digest the proteins. Not a lot of protein in here, but it's good to have because assuming, you know, if you're into fitness, you're going to be eating a lot of protein. And then also cellulase, which helps you break down cellulose or plant fibers. Now, I have to like almost think that every greens product should have cellulase in it, whether it's part of this uh, prop blend from Digizyme or if it's just they, the brand is just adding cellulase alone. You should definitely have help absorbing and digesting the plant material because these things are full of plant material. And then you also have lactase, which is in the Digizyme blend. That helps you, you know, uh, digest lactose and, and break down lactose. You might not need that in this case, like if you're low on dairy or whatever. But hey, if you're stacking this with steel whey, 
you'll take it. And then lipase, which helps break down fats. Also incredibly important, especially for well people with certain conditions. No, we're not making any claims here. So anyway, I love the Digizyme blend. It's just like throw it in there, get everything. But in, in all reality with this, cellulase is the most important. Then finally, lactospore. Let's take a chug of ginger or pineapple. It's like turning more red, it seems like, as we go on. That's good. Big chug. Gets you a lot more of that ginger that I was wanting. Chug it big. So lactospore is a probiotic. And you know, there's a lot of debate and controversy over probiotics, but a lot of times when people drink, like or they go to buy a powder like this, they're worried about, first off, gut health. And um, there are there are some research studies showing that this may help with IBS. I don't wanna make any claims. I've never had that issue or anything like that. But um, in, in my opinion, if you do have that type of issue, I would go on a total elimination diet and go nearly carnivore and then just add things back until it's like figure out what exactly is causing it. But their um, probiotic can help. Now, the other thing is when people wanna, when people get sick, they think about greens. You're trying to ward off sickness or you're like trying to recover from sickness. Or let's say you were on like an antibiotic. Well, that clears out a lot of the healthy gut bacteria as well as the unhealthy gut bacteria. So in my opinion, I think it is beneficial after you've taken an antibiotic to put back in some healthy gut bacteria on top of whatever you're gonna be building back on your own. Now, the, the, the effects might not last forever, but even if they're short-term effects, like after you've taken that antibiotic, it's a very, very wise idea to get back on your feet as quick as possible. And so lactospore is a very, very uh, popular probiotic that's been added. So it's, it's tough to like get through one of these videos without making a lot of claims, but I'm very, very impressed. I don't understand as someone who wants the benefits of the fruits, but not the fructose from the fruits, this is perfect for me. Like, I don't understand why more people, plus it makes it taste better. That, I mean, that's that's why this wild berry flavor is so good. That's why you can have pineapple and ginger and it tastes so good. Watermelon, mint, <laughs> well, that's just too much mint. But you know what I'm saying, like, why not add the reds? There's so many benefits to the reds and they taste better. So I don't get why more of these greens don't also have the greens and the reds, but Steel Fit did it. And that's why I'm on team Steel Fit for these products, especially given that they also added in the cellulase. I, the kiwi fruit powder was a new one for me. And then the probiotic just makes sense because a lot of times people are in the situation where they're warding off sickness or they've taken an antibiotic. You might as well throw in a probiotic as well. So this is kind of like an all-in-one and there's fun, unique flavors. Steel Fit always doing cool flavors. Pineapple ginger is the cool one that I like. For you basic bros, wild berry it is. So check out price.com slash steel fit. As time is going on, I'm kind of starting to like pineapple ginger more. And that's Heather's flavor, by the way. That's the one that Heather likes. Man, that's tough. Pineapple gingers is more fun. Oh, I should have said, I'm going to save a little bit of wild berry because I need to chase. You got to keep swirling if you let this thing sit because I've been sitting here top for 20 minutes. Anyone still out there? I'm just breathing fire right now. Whoa, mint. Okay, save the last sip. Wild berry. Mixed berry? I should know by that. Mixed berry. Ah, oh, save you from that mint. If you like mint, you'll like it. Otherwise, pineapple ginger for the fun and mixed berry if you're scared. All right, this is Mike with Price. I'll check out steel, price out of comp slash steel fit. And thanks everyone for watching this far. This has been a fun one. We gotta be careful in these times because there's just so much going on. No claims. Come on, folks. Let's do this the right way. But in general, I think this provides a ton of great benefits, especially if you're not eating fruits, especially if you don't want to eat vegetables every day. Real foods is always better, but you know, four to five servings total, if you do trust that study, is a lot. So it doesn't hurt. I would consider this one one serving. Let's just be on the safe side and consider it one serving. I've seen some greens products be like, oh yeah, this is 12 servings of fruits and vegetables. Let's just be honest. Play on the safe side, consider this your one of your, what, four or five servings of fruits and vegetables, and that's the safe way to go. Mike Roberto, pricepot.com slash steal fit. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Price Plow.